Welcome to tabletopbattle.com and the new video battle report by uh, Damon, who is holding the camera, and Swain. Damon, what the hell? <laughs> and Swain, who is me, of course. Yes, that's me. Um, today we will be starting Operation Barbarossa. We will start lightly with a small skirmish between a uh, advancing German recon unit trying to race past the uh, borders to grab some important objective. Uh, and the Russians are desperately trying to stop them. This uh, scenario is uh, specially made to us for, for us, for us, by us, made for us. Dude, we're not Swedish. We can pro we can we we can proper speak English, you know. <laughs> okay, this scenario is specially made for us this by the North Australian War Games designers. Much better. Much better. The other one goes in the blooper reel. We don't have bloopers. We will. We will. Um, and uh, you can go online on our webpage tabletopbattle.com and check out the scenario details. We will of course take you through it now and also present the forces and all that but if you want to have an in-depth look at the scenario and what happens after because in this uh, mission uh, surviving units can also continue in a, another battle. Yes. That will be interesting. Okay, the forces of uh, today's mission is for the Russians an inexperienced uh, second lieutenant with one extra guy. Uh, the models have the weapons that are depicted. And next up is a commissar, also inexperienced with a pistol, and he will uh, help uh, Damon make morale checks because of this uh, special rule for commissars. I don't need help. <laughs> then we have a massive 12 man inexperienced light machine gun squad. The NCO has a submachine gun, one light machine gun, one loader and the rest have rifles. Next to them is also a, a massive massive 12 man squad but these are all rifles. Then there is a regular anti-tank rifle team and inexperienced <laughs> BA-10. As you can see this is fresh from the Finnish front since it's painted in uh, winter colors. And last, last a BA-64 also inexperienced. This is a turreted light machine gun, armor value of 7. And the BA-10 as you know is armor value 7, has a hull mounted uh, light machine gun, turret light machine gun and a light anti-tank gun. And both are uh, recon vehicles. They have recce. Idiots. <laughs> For the Germans, we have a veteran Oberleutnant, uh, that is the same as a first lieutenant. He is uh, inside this inexperienced Kubelwagen. Then you have a six-man Krautschützen squad. These are uh, five guys with rifles and one light machine gun, which is uh, this unit over here. But this guy will then act as a loader, so four rifles and one light machine gun. Uh, they are regular. And then you have a SDKFZ-231, this should have been a 2 to 2 if you look at the uh, scenario setup, but uh, sadly I only have one, so I removed one of the guys in the crouching squad, they should have been 7, now they are 6, and then I took this 231 instead. And it is now enclosed and not open top. Correct, so he cannot pin me like he can yeah, be. Like that wasn't part of the plan. Uh, who knows? <laughs> and then you have the SDKFZ 222. This is similar to the 231 in that it has a light auto cannon and a coaxial medium machine gun, but it is open topped. Both of these are recce vehicles, or as Damon would say, recon. Right. That's then, for us uh, American speaking people. Yeah, and then you have a Panzer III J, which has a medium anti tank gun and uh, armor value of 9. Also reinforced rear armor, so it's only plus one penetration on the rear. And a hull mounted and a coaxial medium machine gun. So those are the forces and uh, we will now take you through the terrain. And the terrain for today, uh, we've changed it up a little bit uh, from what you can see in the scenario description. Well, uh, I didn't really change it, well, we just we added, just added, added uh, No disrespect to the game or scenario designers. 
but we felt like we needed a little bit more uh, eye candy. Yes, eye candy. Uh, that's why I'm here and the terrain. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but we feel we kept um, the spirit of the scenario while with having a rather big open uh, space where the Germans will be advancing. And the dice. And the dice. Uh, they are denoting where Damon can start his... I can deploy up to... Start your unit. I can start well, my units yeah. there. You can deploy up to the red dice line going over there. Uh, the terrain people. Yes. The buildings are what they are. Entrants are, is where they are. It's, uh, it's uh, bulletproof cover. I've been playing a different game. It's hard cover. Uh, hard cover and six is to kill who's inside. Yeah. Um, hard cover. Uh, the boxes and barrels provide hard cover. Yeah. Uh, all these stone formations uh, with hills uh, also provide hardcover uh, that the, we have across the table. Yeah, and the shell holes, or what did you call them? I don't remember. <laughs> Someone picked on me on YouTube, so I'm not going to be doing that again. So okay. you can shell holes. Shell, shell no. holes, they uh, make uh, infantry and vehicles no run, yeah. so only advance. Um, the hills, that you, oh well, we can take this particular hill because it's uh, different than the others. Um, this is just a huge hill, you know, blocking line of sight, no uh, passing or going over it. Yep. In any way, shape or form, mm -hmm. unless you fly. And we won't. We won't. Uh, these hills uh, scattered around uh, are basically just that, they're hills. Um, no infantry, run. No run, infantry can move across them, no problem. Yep. Uh, the road is a road, uh, increases your movement. If you're a vehicle, um, we have the crop fields, which we've decided is a light cover. That's light cover. Yep. And also the provides the what the hell is that? Wheat stacks. Wheat haystacks. 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 Yeah, we'll call haystacks for today. Haystacks for today. Uh, they provide a light cover. Uh, the trees along the road, uh, mainly eye candy, but they also block movement. Other than that, eye Enough. candy. Yeah. Uh, water is uh, well, what it is. What it is? It's water. A little, little swamp where you cannot run. Uh, fences, uh, wooden fences. Uh, call it light cover today. Mm -hmm. And all the wooden logs that we've got to get around provide hard cover and blocks line of sight for infantry units. Yeah, and these guys here, no run, yeah. only for vehicles. I think. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah, woods, we have the special rule that we have always yep. played with. One inch in and one inch out. Yes. Well, actually, you don't have to stand one inch out, but if you stand one inch inside the wood, you can't see out and the enemy can't see you. Yep. So no shooting. No shooting. Okay. And that's it for today. I think we got it all. Let's get ready for round one. Ding, ding.